Hello to the Grace Lutheran Church family and everyone beyond. We are all God's children. That means we are all related. Thank you for joining Pastor Ben and me for children's worship today. Let's go ahead and get started with our welcoming song, which is, Here we are, gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. God's love is a treasure for us all. Sharing God's love is our call. Pick up a scarf, something that you can wave around and have fun with. Let's begin. Here we are, gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. God's love is a treasure for us all. Sharing God's love is our call. And now for our theme song, which is based on the old fun tune of Bingo. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name -o. But we are not singing about Bingo today. Instead, we're singing about God transforming. So let's learn those words. I smell the flowers, spring is near. I smell the flowers, spring is near. New life is here and there. New life is here and there. God transforms, God transforms. God transforms, God transforms. God transforms, there are changes everywhere. God transforms, there are changes everywhere. All right, let's try that out. Remember, bingo, there was a farmer had a dog. I smell the flowers, spring is near, new life is here and there. God transforms, God transforms, God transforms, there are changes everywhere. Now, as often happens, a lot of the verses are similar to this verse, so I'm only going to teach you part of the verses. Here we go. Second verse, the tadpole becomes a frog, the tadpole becomes a frog, New life is here and there. New life is here and there. Then we say God transforms, God transforms, God transforms, there are changes everywhere. Third verse, when I stop and look around, when I stop and look around, I see life here and there. I see life here and there. God transforms, God transforms, God transforms and makes changes everywhere. Let's do that last little part. And makes changes everywhere. Last verse, this one's a little different. My heart is filled with God's love. My heart is filled with God's love. New life is here and there. New life is here and there. Love transforms, love transforms. Love transforms, love transforms. Love transforms and makes changes everywhere. Love transforms and makes changes everywhere. All right, that's the whole song. Find something I would recommend that you could tap with because this is a fun song to do. I smell the flowers, spring is near, new life is here and there. God transforms. God transforms, God transforms, there are changes everywhere. So after you hear the word transforms, tap two quick times or do whatever you feel like doing to move along with this music. Here we go. I smell the flowers, spring is near, new life is here and there. God transforms, God transforms, God transforms, there are changes everywhere. The tadpole becomes a frog, new life is here and there. God transforms, God transforms, God transforms, there are changes everywhere. When I stop and look around, I see life here and there. God transforms, God transforms, God transforms and makes changes everywhere. My heart is filled with God's love, new life is here and there. Love transforms, love transforms, love transforms and makes changes everywhere. Love transforms, love transforms, love transforms and makes changes everywhere. Oh, thank you for 
are singing with me. Thank you for thinking about God transforming, love transforming. I think Pastor Ben is going to tell you a little bit more about that. I love you all. Have a grace-filled day, and here is Pastor Ben. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, it's so true. Jesus loves us very much. The Bible tells us that very thing. It is so wonderful that we can worship together this morning. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. And I brought a couple of special things to show you today. The first is this. Can you see that? Can you see what that is? This is a bag of popcorn, and I'm just going to open it real quickly here. This is a bag of popcorn. I wonder how many of you like popcorn? I know I do. Who doesn't, right? This is a bag of popcorn. Does that look very delicious to you? No, I mean, it's okay. Problem is, it's not popped. Unless there's a microwave nearby, there's not a whole lot we can do with an unpopped bag of popcorn. Thankfully, I also have this. This is an already popped popcorn bag, a lot more useful and a lot more delicious. I'm going to open it up. I just popped it. There's a little steam coming out of there. Oh, and that smell. I wonder, do you love to pop popcorn as much as I do? There's something really special about it. Maybe you pop popcorn for movie night at home or to take on a walk with you as a snack. There's something about hearing that popping in the microwave. But the most special thing has got to be that smell. There's something about popping popcorn. Anywhere you are in the house, you can smell that popcorn popping. Our whole sanctuary is going to smell like it today. The smell is amazing. It goes through your whole house. And as soon as you smell that, you know something really important is happening. Something really special is happening. This popcorn has been transformed from unpopped to popped. Something amazing has happened, and you can tell maybe most of all by the smell. It actually kind of reminds me of our gospel lesson for this morning. The story about Jesus this morning tells us that he was eating at the house of his friends Mary and Martha. And Mary starts using perfume, and the smell fills up the whole house. And that's really important because Jesus is eating with them and eating with their brother. His name is Lazarus. And the story just before this one tells us that Lazarus has been dead very recently, and Jesus raised him up to life. There's even a part in that story where they said that Lazarus stinks. But since he's sitting there at dinner with them, and they can maybe smell that, what they smell now is this amazing smell of perfume that Mary is using, and they can tell something truly amazing has happened, a transformation to new life. It all looks forward to when Jesus will die on the cross too, and Mary, well, women like Mary will take care of his body with this kind of perfume. And again, that smell is telling us that amazing things are happening. A transformation too. I wonder these days, what kind of smells tell you that amazing things are happening. We have popcorn, or we might smell other favorite things of ours cooking in the kitchen. We have a smell of flowers and new life outside this spring. Maybe it tickles your nose like it does mine. Or maybe there's a, a parent or a grandparent or someone else that just has a certain smell that only they have. And when they give you a big hug, you can always smell it. This week, I invite you to pay attention to your nose. What are you smelling that tells you that God is doing great things? Let's pray together. Oh God, we thank you for all of our five senses, 
including our nose, our sense of smell. Oh God, help us to use our noses to smell the things that tell us that you are doing amazing things, that you are transforming things, that you are bringing new life and love into our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you have a wonderful day.